Now this problem says uh, we have a plane meter. So let us say this is the plane meter and the height of the plane meter is 50 centimeter and this gap above the ground and from the ground this is again 50 centimeter above so this height is 50 centimeter and this height is also 50 centimeter that is the height of plane meter now there is a person that is basically at a 2 meter away so 2 meter distance so this distance is 2 meter and there is a person standing at a distance of 2 meter and the height of the person is 1.8 meter above the ground I so I is above the ground by 1.8 meter so this is the person standing let us call this as a person P and this is the I of this person and the height of this person is basically 1.8 meter so this is given now we have to calculate what is the height of the floor that is what is the length of floor that is shown to this person so what will happen how will this person will see so let us say two critical rays one ray will come through this lower end and it will be reflected this side another ray will come from the upper end and it will be reflected again this side and then we can find the length of floor that is visible so let us first discuss the lower length so if I have the lower length so this will go here now I have to make something slightly difficult so let us say this ray goes here and this is the plane mirror and now this ray reflects back this direction so this is the reflected ray now we have to find what is this distance so let us say this distance is x this distance is x now let us say I can apply tan theta in the two triangles so I will have in this triangle an upper triangle and a lower triangle so let us say this triangle I will have and this angle is theta then this angle has to be theta because angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection and this angle is also theta now if I write tan theta in this triangle so what is the tan theta so I will write tan theta this is equals to this side 50 centimeter and let us say x is also in centimeter so 50 by x x is in centimeter so x I am taking in centimeter now tan theta I can also write from this triangle so what is tan theta in this triangle so I will have tan theta is equals to this side is 1.8 meter and this is the 50 centimeter this is 0.5 so this side is 1.3 meter are you getting so this side is 1.3 meter so tan theta is this side that is 1.3 and divided by this side this side is same as 2 so this is 2 now I can equate tan theta from these two triangles so 50 by x is equals to 1.3 by 2 and from here I will get x and that x will come into centimeter are you getting or not if you if you do 0.5 by x then x will come into the meter this side this is the ratio so no meaning of unit so x is equals to 2 into 50 divided by 1.3 so this is let us say calculate in meter or let us say calculate in centimeter 100 by 1.3 so what is this value 100 by 1.3 so 100 by 1.3 so 100 divided by 1.3 and this value is 76.923 76.9 so this means 76.923 so this value is 76.923 and this is in centimeter so now I can write in meter so x in meter is equals to 0.769 meter are you getting now next ray you will have that is a, that will come from the top now there is a chance this ray come from the top and it can go even beyond this point P so let us find but it, that can be come only from the geometry part so calculate using this geometry so let us make the diagram for the second case easy to make the diagram next case you have this is the ground and let us say this is the mirror you have so this is the mirror if, if, if you want you can use the same form now this height is given 50 centimeter so height of the meter is 50 now let us work in terms of meter so this is 0 
and this is also 0.5 so this is 0.5 this is in meter this is also in meter now this person is 1.8 so let us make this person slightly so this person is here I of this person is here I have to diagonalize for this the top top ray that this ray goes here to the top of the meter and then this reflects back on the floor so let us say this comes here there is a chance this ray might become outside so here it can go here but let us check that will give the answer will come from the geometry so let us say uh, let us assume this length is x because that will give me the easy so this length is x so this length is x meter and now this length is given to you that is 2 meter so this is 2 meter again I will use the same thing tan theta so I will have one triangle here now this is theta this is again theta and this has to be theta and the total height of the man is 1.8 meter so this is 0 0.8 meter and this height is 1.0 meter so this is 1 meter and this is 0.8 meter I can use the tan theta in this triangle so if I use tan theta in the A of triangle I can write tan theta is this side that is 0.8 divided by this side is 2 I can also use tan theta in this triangle this is equals to this side that is 1 meter and this divided by this side that is x meter now I can solve for x so 0.8 divided by 2 this is equals to 1 divided by x so what is the value of x so x is 2 by point x so what is this 2 by point 8 so x is equals to so x we have 2 by point 8 this means 20 by 8 that is 5 by 4 so 5 divided by so this is 5 by 2 so this is 5 by 2 this is 2.5 meter and now things are easy this time 2.5 meter this means this part this length x is 2.5 so this means this ray will go beyond this point this person so this ray basically will go beyond this person this means the last ray is beyond this point are you getting or not so you see after this all this all this ray are up to this length between these two length basically all the uh, floor is visible try to see what is happening in this case so let me make this one again so what we have so this is my mirror and so let us say so this is my mirror here and below you have the floor so this is the mirror so what is happening one ray one ray goes so last ray is somewhere here so this is your last ray last ray somewhere or oh, let us make slightly a smaller so this ray is here and our next ray you will have a next ray that will come here so some intermediate ray now this ray will go somewhere here are you getting similarly the last ray so this ray will come and this will go somewhere here are you getting or not so this ray you can make this one so this ray can go somewhere here let us say slightly difficult to make now this ray will go here similar to the last ray that will come here this will go beyond this so this means this all part is visible to this person because this person is getting rays from here are you getting or not so if you have some ray from going from the floor I have taken rays from the eye but th that is not as basically true if you ray that is going from this point it will reach to the eye this point ray is going it will reach to the because ray reverses its path a ray is going from this point it will reach the eye so I will collect so this eye basically will collect all the ray that is coming from these points so these are the points so all the points these points will send the rays and that will be collected by the eyes so this part of the floor is basically visible are you getting on this x in the first part we have calculated exit point 0.769 so this length is 0.769 meter so this length is 2 minus 0.769 meter so this is 
2 minus 0.769 meter. So now I can say visible length, visible length, visible length is equals to 2 minus 0.76. So let us write 0. This is equals to 2 minus 0.769. So this is 2 minus 0.769. So the 1.231. So this is 1.231 meter. So this is the visible. 